Naturally, tobacco companies claim they don't aim their advertising at children or teenagers. They blame parents and peer pressure for teenage smoking. And they've even created a booklet uh, to help parents emphasize that smoking is only for grown-ups. What better way to get a kid to do something than to tell him he's not old enough or mature enough to do it now? Despite their denials, the tobacco industry reaches children in nearly every activity they like to do. None is more important than sports. No tour of Houston would be complete without a visit to the Astrodome. In this case, for the Camel, Mud, and Monster series. The tobacco companies like to say that peer pressure is what causes kids to smoke. But as you can see, peer pressure can be bought and paid for right here at the Astrodome. Sports and cigarettes. The connection's not new. It goes back more than a century. It used to be that tobacco companies would sponsor athletes or maybe even an entire team. But today, they sponsor entire events and even sports facilities like this Camel GT Auto Race at Laguna Seca, California. You can get all sorts of souvenirs. Your racing program, a t-shirt for the kids, and a Camel drinking cup, which has your very own Camel endotracheal tube for those we're going to have to do tracheostomies on. But the tobacco companies don't just reach youngsters out at the events themselves. They also do it through television. That's right, the main reason why tobacco companies sponsor sports events is to remain on TV, even though it's been illegal to advertise cigarette brand names since 1971. Let's take a look. Coming up, of course, IndyCar Racing, Paul Page and the Marlboro Grand Prix from the Meadowlands. And the green flag is out. They're underway. second row, but they stay aligned. That's Rick Mears, of course, number three, the Marlboro car, lined up right behind. What's so sad and so amazing is that this is totally illegal. Yet the U.S. Justice Department has never enforced the ban on tobacco advertising on television. Do you think it's because of the millions of dollars Republican and Democratic leaders receive from the tobacco industry?